What is going on, YouTube? Old Tom, Rammer69. Do a uh, few things today. Uh, got some shop cards that's come in. Give you a little update on a couple things. Do a little look back at a old model that I built many years ago. And uh, first up, um, some people was talking about how to display their shop cards. I know a lot of guys put them in albums and stuff. I like to rotate these uh, white foam boards that I got up here. And uh, I rotate them around and, and do everybody's cards up and change it up when I shoot a video and they'll be in the background. But that's just a piece of white foam board. And you can get these clear picture squares, photo corners. And they're clear. And they're self-adhesive. Very inexpensive. And uh, that's what's... Uh, got the card stuck on there and then you can pop the card out you haven't ruined the card if you ever want to take the cards down and put them in an album you haven't taped them or put holes in them or any of that kind of stuff so and if you notice the don's garage card that's don's original shop card from uh when his channel was first up and then he took his little hiatus and come back so that's don's original card so we got that all back up here on the board we got uh some new stuff come in we got uh Adam's card over at Sodak Model Cards. Adam does a lot of really nice work over there and been doing a lot of box reviews and just does a lot of nice stuff over there. So if you're not subbed, and he did send me a cool sticker too. And if you're not subbed, go check Adam out at Sodak Model Cards. We'll get a, a link on his channel up in the box. Thanks. Thank you, Adam. We'll get you back here on this board, buddy. And we got Ed's card. Over at Models and Beer. And uh, Ed's doing a lot of nice stuff over there. And uh, he just survived the hurricane because he was over pretty close to ground zero in Port Charlotte, Florida. So uh, glad you made it through it. Okay, Ed. And uh, doing a lot of nice stuff over there. And we appreciate the support. And then we've got a really cool card. We'll get you up here on the board, Ed. And uh, thanks again, buddy. So I know there's a lot of stuff going on right now with those uh atlantis put out the little 132 funny cars they've issued some of that stuff and uh got it coming out and those those ones that are coming out is not the one that you're looking at here this car came out in 1982 and this was a, a 40 exp body replica of the raymond beetle blue max car and uh these funny cars were nicely detailed for what they were so I built this probably when I was in my early 20s and uh, didn't clear it, which is good because the decal survived over all these years. And it's not the worst paint job for just being something I sprayed out of a rattle can. But uh, I see I lettered the tires on it and uh, they had nice detail. You got a driver and the motor was nicely detailed and it had the fire bottles on it. And for what it is, it's a nice model. And... Uh, I wish they'd come out because this, there was a Kenny Bernstein, the same car with Kenny Bernstein decals. And I see on eBay right now, there's one for sale for 150 bucks. So I wish they would reissue these because I would definitely buy them. And uh, they had the cool little shoots on them and they gave you all the decals for the lights. And it was just a nice, nice little model. And uh, it was all snap kits. These are all monogram kits. And uh, I see the Jungle Gym vega coming back over at atlantis and i'm going to get one of those and see what kit that is if it's got uh, decent detail on it so we're going to give that a look and see um how that looks and uh but these are really cool just something i was going to show one of my old surviving models and uh we'll get this one back up in my cabinet but it's really cool but what else we've been working on is the old Moon Eyes Dragster. If you guys remember, I'd started on the Moon Eyes Dragster, this kit here. We'd started on that early in the year when it got that kit, and uh, kit kind of burned out. It, it just burned me out. It uh, needs so much work and changing stuff, and I kind of got burnt out on it, and then I got started on the four GTs and got off on a whole nother tangent. And It's always been laying up there on the bench, so I got back on it now that I'm getting caught up with everything on the bench. And we got some color on it, and we got the body panels are glued on now. We got that seam finally worked out on this because this top piece is two pieces, and that was a lot of fun to get out. And 
we're getting everything glued on we got this firewall if you look at the if you look at the original kit this is a uh, like a piece of polished aluminum so we bare metal foiled that we got that all glued in and uh we're pretty happy how it is because to get all this to fit and not have gaps it's a uh, it's quite a bit of work to get this kit beat into shape um you're talking about a 1963 tool so it is what it is if you want to build it just uh be prepared that you got a lot of work ahead of you but uh she's coming out pretty cool and we're going to get these uh decals from Atlanta, so we're going to get these on today and get them put on the car and uh, you see one's missing because you know they usually give you a little extra stuff you know from the company if it says Ravel or whatever it says to me uh, this one said Atlantis so what you do you take that decal put it on a spoon with the paint you're using and I've already shot one round of clear over this and it hasn't done anything to the decal and today I'm going to put some more clear on it just to make sure there's no reaction with the decals and that's the best way to check a decal before you do it on the car to find out that the lacquer is going to eat the decals up because if it is then you need to come up with a different kind of clear to put onto it so you don't have a problem with your decals or not cleared at all but uh, i'd like to clear these so i'm going to do another experiment put some more clear on that uh, spoon and see if that decal uh, works out okay and if it does we'll clear over top of these but uh always check your stuff i see a lot of guys um spray their car and then they end up ruining the whole thing and the decals are a mess so check your stuff out you know there's usually a spare decal on the sheet put it on a spoon and check your stuff first and it'll save you a lot of uh save you a lot of headaches down the road so we're not going to keep you long it's about all we got today i'm going to get in here and do a little bit on this moon eyes car so uh everybody take care and uh a lot of nice stuff going on out there and uh we'll see you guys here in a little while enjoy uh enjoy your upcoming week old tom rambler 69 right here guys